Hi, I'm Corey with HubSpot Academy. Let's talk about building a promotional plan for your content. In this video, you'll learn how to manage your content, match your content promotion to the best audience, and keep track of your promotion plan with helpful tools. One of the biggest challenges marketers face when creating content is visibility. It can be difficult to get your content in front of enough people to make the time and effort you put in worth the investment. Creating great content isn't enough. A successful content strategy should include a promotional plan that doesn't just share your content, but strategically shares content with the people who will benefit from it most. To create a successful content strategy, don't simply promote content across your available channels. Strategically share content with the people who will benefit most from it. When your content isn't promoted to the right people on the right channel at the right time, it likely sits there on your blog, website, or landing page with minimal traffic. There's nothing worse than putting a lot of time and effort into producing great content only for a traffic to fall flat. More traffic turns into more conversions on your content, leads for your sales team, and money for your business. Did you know almost half of your customers likely view three to five pieces of content before engaging in a sales process? This shows just how crucial it is to create and promote content to your audience. An effective promotion plan will turn visitors into leads and leads into customers. When building a promotion plan for your content, remember, not all channels are created equal. The messaging you use to promote your content should keep the audience and platform in mind. Let's take a look at a successful content promotion in action. TED Conferences is a media organization that shares talks online for free under the slogan, Ideas Worth Spreading. In this TED Talk, zoologist Lucy Cook takes us inside the strange life of the world's slowest mammal, the sloth. To share this content, TED leveraged their social channels to promote the talk. Even though they're sharing the same content, the copy was adjusted to fit within each of their social platforms. For example, on Twitter, they write, y'all, it's time to talk about sloths. Twitter's allowed character count limits how much you can say on this platform. So Ted's promotion is short, conversational, and intriguing, a perfect match for Twitter's audience. On Instagram, however, Ted takes a completely different approach. Since Instagram is an image-driven platform, they decide to use a picture of a sloth to get visitors' attention. Instagram supports long-form text, so they decided to share a sneak peek of Lucy's talk in the image caption. Then, on Facebook, Ted altered their writing style again to resonate with a different audience. In this post, they say, get your sloth on this weekend. It's timely, relevant, and funny. The perfect way to recommend their content to watch over the weekend. Even though Ted is promoting the same piece of content on these three social channels, they updated the messaging to resonate with specific audiences. Let's take a look at some challenges you might face when creating a promotional strategy. Here are a few questions to get you started. First, ask yourself, what content do I have available to promote? What content do you have already? And what content are you working on? And what content is coming up soon? It's helpful to track all of your content in one place so that you know what's available to promote to your audiences. Use a content audit and planning sheet to keep track of all of your content creation efforts. Check out the resources section below for our Google Sheets template. Start off by conducting an audit of all the content you already have ebooks, webinars, blog posts, everything. List them all out. Add the content format and topic into your sheet to make your content easily filterable. To take this one step further, you could even track past performance of your promotion efforts in your content audit sheet. Use this sheet to identify what promotion tactics performed well for your existing content before. Use this past performance to guide you in the right direction when creating your promotion plan. Next, ask yourself, when should I promote this content? By understanding what promotion strategies work best on which channels, you can determine when the optimal time is to share your content with your audience. If you don't know this already, don't worry. The optimal time to publish and share content will vary from business to business. This is why experimentation is so important. Here's a pro tip. When experimenting with the best times to share your content with your audience, optimize for engagement. By tracking engagement, such as likes, comments, and shares, 
you'll learn what time your audience is most effective online and most willing to engage with interesting content. Another thing to consider is how frequently you promote your content. Again, there's no perfect answer to how often you should share your content. However, this is something that can be learned by testing different strategies and studying how your audience responds to the content that you share. Remember, your audience across channels doesn't want the same amount of content. It is likely that your email database only wants a maximum of one piece of content per week, while your followers on Twitter are interested in seeing content from you daily. Play around with your channels and experiment with the frequency of your posts to find the optimal plan for your business. Next, ask yourself, which persona can benefit from this content? A buyer persona is a semi-fictional representation of your ideal customer based on real data and some select educated speculation about customer demographics, behavior patterns, motivations, and goals. When building a promotional plan, it is crucial to share content that will resonate with your audience on the channels they're already on. This will maximize the content performance by getting the right eyes on your content. Once you understand the personas that you're trying to reach with your promotional efforts, you want to ask yourself, how and where does this persona consume content? Which channels are best for this type of content to reach this persona? Not all content is created equal and not all content is effective on every channel. Take a step back to understand your persona's motivations, goals, and challenges. Adapt the messaging on each channel to match it. Is this persona most active on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram? Is this persona searching for information on your website? Listening to content on your podcast? Choosing the right channels to promote your content on will significantly improve the chances of your content being discovered by the intended persona. Then, ask yourself, how can my messaging resonate with this persona? Create custom messaging for each promotional effort that resonates with the intended audience. Promotional efforts on different channels shouldn't sound or look the same. Be sure to customize your messages on each channel to resonate with the personas you're trying to reach. At this point, you might be wondering, why don't I just share all of my content on all of my channels? While this may seem like a good way to get the most eyes on your content, it might not offer the best experience to your audiences. Your audiences across platforms are probably not the same. They're looking for unique content and messaging that resonates with who they are. And if your audience follows you across multiple channels, you don't want them to see the same message on your social channels as in their inbox. An effective promotional plan will deliver unique value to all of your audiences, even when promoting the same content. For example, one easy way to improve your content promotion on Facebook is to refrain from sharing the same posts from Instagram. It's so easy to do. With just a click of a button, you can share your content on both networks at the same time. But just because it's easy, doesn't mean it's something you should do. You'll see better results by taking the time to craft a custom message and promote curated content on each of your promotional channels. Keeping track of all these promotional elements can be difficult to manage. Scaling these efforts can be even more challenging. Thankfully, there are many tools out there for managing your content promotion. Trello, for example, is a great tool to use to build out your content calendar and track the progress of your content creation process and promotional plan. Trello is a free web application that manages projects in a visual and collaborative way. If you want to learn how to use Trello for your business, check out the free guide to digital transformation in the resources section. Google Calendar is another great way to manage your content promotion internally. You can create events for each content piece that is being promoted, log which channels the content is being promoted on, and link to relevant assets. Plus, you can share your calendar with your entire team too. In the resources section, you'll find a number of downloadable resources for organizing your social media, editorial, and content calendars with Excel and Google Sheets. By asking yourself these questions and tracking your efforts with the right tools, you'll maximize your content performance with a promotional strategy that works.